Before we start this, I want to say that we don't have a sponsor this week, so instead, at the end of this video, I'll be hosting a giveaway for a copy of Battlefront 2 for whatever console you want. Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Virtual Boy. So wait till the end of this video to get a chance to win that, I guess. Or don't, I mean, you know, just enjoy the video. Before George Lucas announced that Disney had bought Star Wars for $4 billion, he had been working behind the scenes with the makers of Robot Chicken to create a Star Wars comedy show. Over time, this unreleased TV show has been panned by people all over for its quality. And even though it was cancelled and never saw an official release, let's look into what happened and why this show was hated by so many. Okay, conference! <laughs> Who should I take to the prom? Todd is totes double plus cute. <sighs> no, Maya. My fake dad might approve of him. What about Kip? Yeah, I should totes date Kip. <sighs> okay, let's talk about Star Wars detours. If you've ever seen some of the Robot Chicken Star Wars specials, then you would be incredibly excited to hear that they're going to do an entire show based on just that subject. Their specials have been awesome, and if you haven't just sat down and at least watched the clips they've uploaded on YouTube, you really should. So it's understandable that the fans would be pretty excited to see Star Wars detours. But let's back up and see where this was announced to the public, and what led to its cancellation. Let's think back to the 6th annual Star Wars celebration. It was an odd time for Star Wars fans. The next trilogy and the Disney deal had not yet been announced, and the general audience was waiting for something new and amazing for the series. On the schedule for this event was a panel called The Super Secret Star Wars Panel with Todd, Seth, and Matt. Todd was Todd Grimes, who would end up being the director of the show. Matt and Seth were Matthew Senreich and Seth Green, the co-creators of Robot Chicken. During the panel, they would announce Star Wars detours, which would take place between A New Hope and Revenge of the Sith. George Lucas would even come out to the audience and tell them that Star Wars detours was looking amazing. After this, they would show the trailer for Star Wars detours, and the audience was wooing their heads off. Uh, how my nose look? Oh! <laughs> but in the end, the series that they were promised would never happen. But before we look into how it was cancelled, let's go a little bit farther back in the Skywalker Ranch, and what was going on behind the scenes that led to the making of this series. Over the years, Star Wars parodies have been abundant. Almost every comedy show ever has done some sort of Star Wars gag or an entire episode based around Star Wars jokes. Wow, what an ending! Who'd have thought Darth Vader was Luke Skywalker's father? Ah, oh, thank, thank you! Oh, thank you, Mr. Blow the Picture for me! George Lucas had been watching this for years and years, and he actually took it really well. He was not only just okay with the fact that people were making fun of his property, but he was encouraging it. He actually hired Matt and Seth to make an entire half-hour special devoted to his characters. The Robot Chicken Star Wars special was so successful that it even spawned two sequels. The fans loved Star Wars, but they also loved making fun of it. So George Lucas decided that if everybody else could have fun with his property, then why can't he? Lucas then came up with an idea called Star Wars Squishies. Squishies was meant to be a computer animated TV show that consisted of three six-minute segments. It would be filled with comedy for all ages, so everybody would love it. George Lucas described it as Seinfeld in space. Lucas couldn't do this alone though. He eventually hired Matt and Seth to help him develop this new show. Obviously the Robot Chicken special went well, so why wouldn't you hire him? Star Wars Squishies eventually just became Star Wars Detours. So Seth, Matt, and George all started working on the scripts, and they actually completed a lot. They would sit down for hours on end and just write and write and write. Although there are conflicting reports, supposedly 39 episodes were fully animated, voiced, and just overall completed, and 62 episodes were fully scripted. That's an insane amount of episodes created for a TV show that had yet to find a network willing to broadcast them yet. They must have had a lot of hope in this show. They even got a ton of the original actors and actresses to reprise their roles, like Billy D. Williams as Lando and Anthony Daniels as C-3PO. I usually try to keep my opinion held in until the conclusion of the video so everybody can form their own opinions as I present the information given, but I can't help but just be disappointed with how this one ended up. Seinfeld in space sounds amazing, but this was not executed well at all. If you've watched the clips that have been released, then dear god, it's just painfully unfunny. And if you think that the Robot Chicken writers can do no wrong, then I think you'll be happy to hear that maybe they weren't fully responsible. Apparently George Lucas was the one who steered most of the humor and constantly threw away ideas from Seth and Matt. You can tell that a lot of it seems like childish or prequel kind of humor, which isn't surprising since in the end it is a kid's TV show, but I can't help but think what a wasted potential. But hey, if you think Star Wars Detours is funny, then that's totally cool. Humor is 100% subjective. 
But now that we've discussed what was going on with this show, let's look into what happened in the end and how it was eventually cancelled. As Seth and Matt were writing and getting excited for the new show, George Lucas was having secret meetings with Disney that nobody knew about. We obviously know this now as the Lucasfilm and Disney merger that created a whole new chapter for the Star Wars brand. Only two months after the reveal of Star Wars Detours, the $4 billion deal was announced on October 30th, 2012. Although this deal would be the beginning of many different Star Wars projects, it would also mean the end of some ongoing ones. It's unclear whether or not Seth and Matt knew about this deal or if they heard from the announcement. But with George Lucas no longer in charge, Disney began the rework of Star Wars. On March 11, 2013, a post published on StarWars.com called A New Direction for Lucasfilm Animation showed up randomly. This post announced the cancellation of the Clone Wars animated series and the postponing of Star Wars Detours until a later date, which is Hollywood speak for. After that, we have no idea what went on in the writer's room. Seth Green has repeatedly stated that Star Wars Detours will eventually come out, but Brendan Hay, the head writer for Star Wars Detours, has a much different idea of everything. Brendan went on to state that, I think our window was very brief. Detours made sense for the franchise at a certain time. Now you have The Force Awakens and all these new characters. We're not as relevant. And I think he's right. I can't imagine Disney putting out something like this today. Hello! I'm a fool for dancing, and you're a dancing fool! Hit it! <laughs> Although I've shown my distaste for this series, I'll give them some credit. Not many huge companies like Star Wars are willing to make fun of themselves in that way. I mean, they were gonna make an entire TV show based around making fun of their own brand. That's pretty ballsy. Whether or not the jokes were good, well, that's in the air, but it's still impressive that they'd actually do this. I've also put a poll up in the top right-hand corner asking if you guys would have liked to have seen this. I think it'll be interesting to see your guys' reaction. So it's 2018 and Star Wars Detours still isn't released, and I never see it doing so. Somewhere deep in the vault of Disney, they hold these 39 episodes, and maybe that's for the best. So instead of an ad, I said that I'd be giving away a copy of Battlefront 2. You know the one that caused all that drama? Yeah, that one. Well, to join this giveaway, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and then follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description. I mean, I would also enjoy if you clicked like on this video, but I mean, there's no way that I'd be able to check to see if you did that unless I asked for proof, but I'm not your fucking dad, so I'm not gonna do that. But hey man, I'd appreciate it. So again, just follow me on Twitter and subscribe, and then when my next cancelled video comes out about two weeks from now, I'll announce the winner on my Twitter and I'll get in contact with you. So go ahead and join this giveaway. I want to give back to the community that has given me so much. I'd also like to thank our current Patreon donators. These are the guys that have really helped out Cut Short by donating on Patreon even as low as a dollar a month. Nathan Frank, Roberto Martinez, Jesse White, and Callum Knight are doing a great service here and I want to thank them for going the extra mile and really helping out the show. So again, thank you to all those guys and thank you for watching this video. Tropical sands, you my lady, I'm your man, so let's further advance to the next scene. Be sleeping next to you, resting. You the personification of all God's blessings. Coming to me in just one physical being, one physical.